possible to hold a gun and oh, flashlight heavenly. at the same time. Tell me what's up. And it was I... mostly pitch black. I... Well, listen. Doom 1 comes out, 93. Everyone's having a it good time. We're running, we're gunning, we're circle straight straight we're shooting from cyber demons, we're killing spider masterminds. Doom events. 2 comes out, we get a double-barreled shotgun, we get the chain gunner, we get the arch file, we get new maps, new openings, it's a beautiful time. Then it goes radio silent. Xbox comes out, and then Doom 3 drops. And this asshole, this decrepit, crypt, subhuman fuck named John Carmack decides to put out a new game. And he drops this cool game called Doom 3, and everyone's like, he's back. Dad's back. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And then we boot the game up, and he hands us a fucking flashlight. And the game is so dark that the common TV that everyone had, you could not see. Imagine closing your eyes and playing a game. That is what Doom 3 was like. I remember having that issue. He gives you a flashlight, and you're like, okay, cool. How do I shoot with the flashlight? John Carmack looks you dead in your face and says, how do you what? laughs at you, takes your $60, and burns that shit. Then, you get a goofy, disgusting-looking, horrible pistol that does somewhere between one and a fuck ton of damage. It's random. It's RNG. That's the heavenly, heavenly Doom 1 and 2 RNG. Yes, but the RNG was a lot more consistent. This game is dog-ass. Okay. Number three. The game has one trick. You walk in to a be room. Fair, they did turn a it into a horror game. No, they turned it into a shit game. Um, you, you walk into a room and then an imp spawns in front of you. And you're like, oh my God, that's scary. And then you turn around and there's an imp behind you. They do that 5,000 times. 5,000. Bro, you walk into a room and you immediately do a 180 because you know something's behind you. Then you shoot at it with your dinky pistol and it doesn't kill it. Then you shoot at the first one with your dinky pistol and it kills it once. Whatever. You go into the third mission and you pick up the shotgun and you go, yes, I love Doom. I love shotguns. And then you shoot this black bar, a fucking travesty, a black mark on Id's name. The pellet spread on that gun spreads further than my mum. Okay? I haven't seen her in a while and I kind of miss my mum. You know, she's spread thin right now. She's doing a lot. That shit oh, is yeah. not a shotgun. It goes everywhere imagine if you got drunk and gave a gun to a baby and the baby started shooting it would be more accurate than that fucking shotgun i swear to god that thing disgusting horrible rancid fucking weapon who came up with it if i find you when i get my hands on you when i get my hands on you id when i get my hands on you Anyway, you keep going, you keep going. Every corridor is super tight, you can't breathe. All the mobs are shooting with pinpoint accuracy the first time they see you. There's a guy with a chain gun, he doesn't even rev it up, he looks at you and just blasts your shit. Awesome, epic, cool, I have armor on. Wait, the armor doesn't do dick for shit! I still take full fucking health damage! The armor in Doom 1 and 2 reduces the amount of damage you do! Why the fuck did you even put it in? You goddamn piece of shit developers! You finally find a mob that looks familiar. You find the pinky demon. He runs up on you. He bites you. You get aim punched so hard you look at the ceiling. Why am I looking at the ceiling? I am trying to kill the creature in front of me. What are you doing? Who are you? Oh my god. There's no double barrel till we get this, the expansion. I feel like we already this had game the double barrel. Ruined your childhood. This, you know, this game ruined everything. You know, this game had co-op, and in order to have co-op, you had to buy a second Xbox, which is fine. That's cool. My dad's like, yeah, you know, Heavenly, we can we play, we, we play Doom together. We play co-op games. We'll buy two Xboxes. He buys another Xbox. He puts it in his room. We run, like a, we run an Ethernet cable through the vents downstairs into the main room where I'm playing. Everyone in my family went upstairs to watch him. I was downstairs in the dark by myself playing this game. I had a lot of time to think. I was molded by this game. There was a lot of moments where I just sat there thinking, if I just jumped out of the window right now, that'd be a lot more enjoyable than this game. The final boss of the game is the Cyber Demon. He quite literally, I don't mean figuratively, he literally looks like if you grabbed a bunch of dirt and just slammed it together. And you're like, yep, that's a big demon. And you stick a little rocket launcher on him. How do you kill him? You throw a fucking cube at his leg. His leg! And you walk, up. oh, you walk underneath his, you walk into a room and you walk underneath his legs and he roars at you and he goes, rawr. 
and then he doesn't even shoot rockets at you in an acceptable burst. The lost souls are garbage. There's little baby demons. There's a giant spider, which was the coolest mob, and you kill it in five seconds. The BFG is dog shit. The only good thing about that game is that it gave us good lines for Brutal Doom. It gave us the crispiest plasma rifle an, uh, animation ever, and it is really good Twitter engagements if you go on Twitter and say Doom 3 is good. That's it. That game is a waste of your fucking hard drive space, a waste of your time, a waste of your soul. The only thing that makes that game scary is the fact that you can make it through the whole game. It's, it's, it's honestly just... That game should not have existed, and it almost killed it. They made that game, and then they were going to make Doom 4 like that game plus Call of Duty, and we almost lost it. We almost did. But then they made Doom 2016, and they got their head out of their asses. And John Carmack's stupid ass went off to make the Oculus Rift or whatever. And I'm so glad he got out of game development. Because without John Romero, and John Romero and John Carmack by themselves make garbage. But that's a whole other thing, and I won't keep you waiting. All I'm saying is, fuck you, fat man. Don't play Doom 3, Zen. I love you. Have a good stream. Love you, too. All he had to do was say it sucked. Lamar.